The Conquest of Makkah Over the next year or two, different surrounding tribes joined either the Muslim side or the side of the idol worshippers of Mecca. One of the tribes that joined the idol worshippers side was the tribe of Bakr. And one of the tribes that joined the Muslim side was the tribe of Banu Kuzah. Both of these tribes did not like each other and had a history of fighting with each other. The tribe of Bakr, from the idol worshippers side, asked permission from Meccan idol worshippers if they could attack and confiscate the belongings of the tribe of Kuzaa, even though that would go against the treaty. The idol worshippers of Mecca allowed it and even provided them with some weapons to earn a share of the profits they were going to confiscate. The idol worshippers of Mecca advised the tribe of Bakr to attack the tribe of Kuzaa in the middle of the night so no one can see them and so the Muslims would not find out. After the attack, the news reached Prophet Muhammad and the Muslims. The idol worshippers got nervous and decided to send their leader, Abu Sufyan, to talk to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and ask for the existing treaty to be renewed. However, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, did not assure him that the treaty was still valid because they had broken the treaty. After this event, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the Muslims raised a big army of 10,000 men to surprise attack the idol worshippers in Mecca for what they did. When the Muslims reached Mecca, the people of Mecca were overwhelmed and unable to fight the Muslims. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, did not fight them and offered safety and security for anyone that did not fight. He announced to the people of Mecca that anyone who stays in the Kaaba or their homes or in the home of Abu Sufyan, their leader who ended up converting to Islam, would be safe. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, entered Mecca with his head bowed down in humility, his head touching the back of his camel. He also circulated the Kaaba. Prophet Muhammad and the Muslims, peace be upon them, conquered the city of Mecca in a bloodless battle. This was the end of many years of persecution. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, gathered the people of Mecca and asked them, After all of the evil things you did, what do you think I should do to you? They sought forgiveness, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, responded with the same phrase as Prophet Joseph said to his brothers, No blame or harm will be upon you today. Allah will forgive you. Then Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, freed the people of Mecca to go their separate way. Then he ordered every idol in Kaaba to be destroyed, and he participated in destroying all 360 idols. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, would point to an idol, and it would fall to the ground. The Kaaba was purified of all idols. Prophet Muhammad then ordered Bilal, peace be upon him, who had a strong, melodious voice, to call the Adhan, which became the first Adhan in Islamic history from the Kaaba, proclaiming the worship of the one and only true God.